Welcome to our channel, Kiki and Coco. Today we're going to be showing you how to do three different quick and easy back to school hairstyles. But before we do that, please do not forget to subscribe and give us a big thumbs up if you gotta go back to school. Yep, so keep watching if you wanna find out how we did this. So first of all, we're just gonna curl Coco's hair. She has really straight hair, so I just wanna get some texture in before we begin the process of braiding her hair. If you haven't already watched, you should definitely watch our video on how to curl your hair quick. And I'm just going to fast forward here, secure it with some hairspray. Next, using a rat tail comb, I'm just going to section the hair into two different parts on the side of the face. Now with the two sections that we've previously separated, we're just going to tie them together with a see-through hair tie. Next, I'm going to put my fingers through the knot and I'm just twisting it as you can see here. And this kind of just creates a really nice effect and it tightens the sides a little bit as well. And I'm just loosening it a little bit more. After I'm going to just do a simple um, three section braid and this is how we begin to form the rose um, petals for later on. Now you just want to loosen up the braid. Um, it'll make the rose petals look a lot more natural. You don't want too tight of a braid. And so I'm just adding some texture into her hair and loosening up the braids. So now I'm beginning to twist her hair into a clockwise motion and I'm gonna hide the ends of that braid into the back of that rose petal. And you can just secure that with some bobby pins. And just finishing off with some more hairspray and we're done. Super quick and easy and super elegant and pretty. Now onto the second hairstyle. We're just first going to use a rat tail comb again. And here I'm sectioning her hair into three different sections. Uh, the two sections beside her face, I'm just going to take a little bit out for those and the majority of the hair, I'm just going to let it remain at the back of her head. Again, I'm going to just section her hair and with the smaller section, I'm going to tease her hair This will help make her ponytail look a lot nicer because the back of her head will be a lot more round. Once you've gotten the curvature that you want, just get a see-through hair tie and tie a low ponytail in the nape of her neck. You don't need too tight of a ponytail, otherwise you're going to lose um, all that hair that you just teased and I'm just gonna pull at a small section behind the ponytail and this will help make the ponytail a little bit tighter and also at the same time it'll make uh, the back of her head even more round. Just pulling small sections again to help make the entire curvature a lot prettier So remember those two sections, now you're going to want to crisscross them and wrap them um, around the ponytail you just made and use another see-through hair tie and just tie those two sections together behind the low ponytail. So basically you're layering a ponytail on top of a different ponytail. Now that we've tied the two ponytails together, just start adjusting the hair, 
pulling certain sections out to make it more curved, pulling some other sections to make it a little bit more natural. Next I'm just going to be using a bobby pin to secure parts of the sides. Just make sure that you have everything wrapped around that first ponytail so that the hairband doesn't show. Now just make some final adjustments to the ponytail. You can pull on it to make it just a little bit tighter. And now we're done with this hairstyle. And with the last hairstyle, I'm just going to be doing another ponytail. This time we're doing a high ponytail and I'm just gathering her hair with my fingers. Doing it this way will create some definition, especially since she has super shiny hair. And you just want to tie this ponytail super tight. Now before you tie it, leave a small section out. It could be kind of more to the side of the ponytail. And you're going to see how I'm going to use this section later. After you tighten the ponytail, use that section of hair we left out earlier Bring it back up and just wrap it around the elastic to hide it. Now using a bobby pin, just secure that section and hide it into the hair. Now with another elastic band, just tie a section of your own hair. Now you don't want it to be too towards the ends or even the middle, just kind of in the beginning. And then again, put your fingers through the middle of that section, separate it, and then flip the ends towards your hands, pull it out, and you create this nice twist. And just loosen that twist a little bit so it looks more natural. With another elastic again, do the exact same thing, tie the section, separate the middle, put your fingers through it, and just pull the hair through it. And again, just kind of loosen some sections of that hair to make it a little bit more natural. And that's it after you've adjusted all the sections. Super easy, quick back to school hair.